Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. It is your queen, Divine Mother Goddess Yamaya, your intuitive guide, and I am going to be doing another intuitive reading for you all. Today, I am going to be doing a reading for Sun, Moon, and Rising Signs, specifically for Aries. Okay, so hey Aries, welcome in guys. Take a seat, okay, or have a stance or wherever you're, whatever you're going to do. Lay back, whatever you need to do to get comfortable and listen up, okay? So the first card we have out here is regret and in the middle of the deck we have um, we have regret in the reverse and we have friendship in reverse so you're not regretting letting go of a friendship that is no longer serving you or um, with someone who you don't feel like is really a friend to you as well um this is someone who could have had low self-esteem as well or you could have been battling self-esteem issues and you don't have that anymore it says i possess gifts of the soul that benefit me and others you could also know that you contribute in a positive way um to others that have come into your life and so you don't have any regret when you no longer are in people's life um because you're able to deal with what you know you put out and you pretty much put out good energy so you get you expect good things back or good things come to you and flow to you this effortlessly is what i'm hearing yeah you have high self-esteem that card still wants to come out Yep, don't have no regret. You don't have any regret whatsoever. Yeah, you're persevering at this time. You got a lot of perseverance right now, Aries. It says, I know what I can do. I know that I can do whatever I set my mind to. Yeah, so you're expanding your mind and you're pretty much exploring your mind at this time to take on new things. You could be, you know, birthing something new, creating something new at this time, very inspired as well, um, ready to take the initiative and just ready to get out there and do some things. Yeah, because you wasn't shining for some seasons. There were some seasons where things weren't working out for you. Yeah, you could have not known what was going on, although you weren't worried about it though but you had some fucked up times though you definitely did worry is in reverse though you had a lot of you know um faith and spirit that spirit was gonna help you and that you was gonna be able to endure so it was only for a season yeah it was only for a season yeah you don't regret anything about those seasons either yeah, you know that you needed to take that time in order for you to start speaking up for yourself. You had to go within in order for you to become, you know, a different person. And now you're someone who's rare and you speak up. Yeah, there's not a lot of people who's like you with scarcity coming out. Sukuyan and um, Mami Kuamba Bang. Yeah, you're living without regret. Yeah, you can have a lot of desire right now with the King of Wands coming out. Could be a fire sign, but you are a fire sign for um, Aries. Could be a Leo um, as well. You could have that in your charts or a Sagittarius. Okay, you could be a male. Don't have to be. Yeah, you were carrying a lot of burdens in this season that you're coming out of. Yeah, you were carrying a lot. And you had to face a lot of choices as well. You could have used spirit to guide you, though. Yeah, and they guided you to a new relationship. Yeah, with the King of Pentacles. Somebody who's a hard worker. Yep, somebody who's a very hard worker. Yep, you're getting ready to start a new relationship. But you're coming out as this king of pentacles, okay, Aries? So you're someone who's very secure. You're ready for love. And so you've been putting in a lot of hard work. And now you're ready to um, pour into a relationship as well. You want to give everything that you've been pouring into yourself into someone else as well. So you're working on a relationship now with someone who could be a spiritual teacher. Yeah, you could have needed to make a choice between this person and other people. You could have had a lot of choices, and those choices came with burdens, though. You didn't want that. You could have, you know, liked toxicity in the past, and you chose to walk away from it and make a choice, a decision. You knew you had to make a decision and use your, you know, intuition on this one. Um, it could have been hard for you to do so, though, spiritually clarify the seven of cups and um the upright 
Yeah, but you chose the, it's pretty much clarified. You chose the higher fine. You chose a spiritual um, teacher, a spiritual healer, someone who could, you know, be into divination. They could literally be a teacher, a spiritual, um, you know, guru of some sort. They could be a, you know, um, pastor, um, someone who's into youth. Um, I'm hearing youth uprising, but um as far as you know spirituality or religion yeah ten of pentacles yeah you want to work on growing a family with someone you see someone that you can have a family with spirit clarify this ten of pentacles if you're ready to start a family you're working on having a happy family yeah you want to communicate with someone with the eight of wands coming out yeah could be someone who's a celebrity yeah who you didn't have a lot of information about and you could have hurt their feelings. Yeah, the emperor. Leo, Aries, Sagittarius. And you had to go and think about all of the bullshit that you could have ca caused them. You were causing a lot of chaos here, a lot of confusion and arguments. Yeah, but this is justice. Yeah, you were trying to pro pro um, avoid judgment. Yeah, with judgment coming out in reverse. Yeah, because you were having a lot of fun trying constantly over and over again to go with someone with some bullshit or to try to leave somebody out in the cold someone who you have a family with or someone who you see as someone who you can have a family with the ten of pentacles the ten of cups you see someone who you can have a true fulfillment with who you can um, start a real uh foundation with but you could have fucked it up or you could have you know although you want to be with them or be in a relationship with them you could be acting real childish about you know Expressing yourself to this person, yeah, the Seven of Pentacles, yeah, you weren't enlightened, or you weren't, you know, with the hangman coming out, you, you just didn't know what you were doing, you didn't know any better, yeah, the Queen of Wands, someone in a Queen of Wands energy could have misinformed you, or you could have um, discovered that you won't, you know, someone that you were with, who you could have broken heart, that you actually really loved them, and that you wanted to, you know, celebrate with them you wanted to get married to them and you wanted to be with them or that you know you are but you were out of balance with the temperance card and the sun leo yeah you didn't know what you were doing yeah you didn't know how many burdens you were causing on someone or that you were putting them in a competition yeah you couldn't see what you were doing with the two of swords um and the upright and the king of um swords in reverse yeah you were being an asshole yeah, starting a lot of arguments with someone. Could have been a Scorpio. Yeah, because you didn't want any endings. Or this person could have told you how they wanted something different. They wanted something new, you know. And you needed to change. You needed to, you know, find yourself. And you didn't want to do that. Yeah, you didn't want to see the truth of what it was with the Ace of Swords. Yeah, you were lying to yourself. Yeah. Because you chose to go in a different direction, the wrong path. You chose the wrong path. Yeah. You chose to run and defend instead and go towards a empress in reverse instead of your um, divine counterpart. Yeah, you decided you decided to deceive them. Or you was working with the empress in reverse to deceive them or they were working to deceive you. Yeah. You could have got bored, yeah, and actually took a look at yourself, realized how toxic you were being. You listened to your intuition, or you were being toxic and, you know, in a negative, low vibing as energy against the high um, priest of someone who you could actually have your Ace of Pentacles with, or someone who was an Ace of Pentacles, someone who was the ultimate abundance. Yeah, the completion came. Yeah, some cycles is closed out. Yeah, now some ready, someone is ready to give someone their passion and love. Someone has a lot of passion. Someone wants to, you know, make love to someone, but someone also wants to start a new beginning with someone. Yeah, and actually um, grow to, grow with them and grow go towards them with the chariot. Yeah, someone doesn't want to be left out in the cold or someone doesn't want for um, someone to walk away from them. Yeah. Someone that they could have been juggling and having a hard time deciding when the spirit brought, you know, someone a tower, a tower moment, right? Someone got a tower. Yeah, because they chose the wrong lover. 
didn't make the right decision. And I'm not going towards the Queen of Cups, someone from their past who's not going to hurt them, who's not, you know, full of bullshit, someone who's going to be able to, you know, be there for them, take care of them, be able to love them down, make sure they take care of their bond every night. You know, someone who's going to protect them, look at this Queen of Swords energy, someone who's very skilled, yeah. And someone who could also hurt your motherfucking feelings. If someone knows that their feelings could get hurt and they're willing to take a risk anyway, yeah, because they feel like their fulfillment is here with someone with the moon coming out. Could be a King of Cups. Yeah, Queen of Cups and King of Cups both coming out in the upright. These two people are um, having a lot of emotions for each other, are able to express themselves for each to each other in a way where they can be emotional. These people have expressed themselves emotionally to each other, although it's caused them each other a lot of grief in the past. Yeah, this is someone who's a queen of pentacles. She's very abundant. Yeah, this person didn't choose wisely at the time. They didn't understand what they was, you know, the value of someone that was a queen of pentacles. That this person actually was a nine of pentacles. They missed out on someone who was actually in their bag because they were being childish as fuck. Meanwhile, they only had a little bit of money. They were judging someone who had more than them, who was more abundant than them, naturally. Yeah. Someone was very childish. And they didn't know what the fuck they were doing. And now they want to communicate with someone that they, you know, they want a new relationship with them. They want to go and be with them. They want to bring balance, although they didn't have balance in the end, in the beginning, in the end. They, they see them as someone who they can be truthful with, although they could have told a lot of lies in the past. Yeah. This is someone who didn't believe in miracles, but they could see you as a miracle. Yeah, they love you, though. There's a lot of love here. I commit to the practice of seeing good in all things. Yeah, they see the good in you. Yeah, although they don't understand your service. And they could feel like you're not going to forgive them, which could be bringing them a lot of grief. And they could feel like you're very um, empathetic, empathetic, um, and but they're not blaming you. They do want a relationship with you, though. And they're no longer in denial about this. They feel like you bring them peace. Yeah. And they want to be disciplined with you. They have the courage in order to be with you. They're using their intuition at this time. And they don't want to... They, they're using their intuition. Okay? And they don't want to sabotage this anymore. Yeah. Someone is they they was holding on for a while yeah because they didn't want their secrets revealed but they came out anyway and that's that they really love you but that is what i have for you at this time this is someone who wasn't celestially and you know aligned when they were trying to make a decision yeah so they could have been indecisive but they're not anymore yeah, they couldn't accept that you could love them. Yeah, they didn't, they didn't feel like that. But now this person is ready for a change. Yeah, they're ready to get serious. They're no longer playing games anymore. This is someone who's lonely without you. Yeah, and they could feel like they lose a lot without you, but that they're able to manifest with you. Yeah, this is someone who you're no longer friends with. But they're no longer prideful. They did have a lot of pride. And they're no longer doubtful of this relationship that you guys share. Yeah. But that is what I have for you at this time. Aries, please do thumbs up the video and subscribe to my channel. You're definitely going to be dealing with someone who's coming towards you or who is in your presence right now. Or that you're just um, finished dealing with who's pretty much, you know, their birthday could be 121, 33 life path number, 124 is significant as well. Or they could be dealing with someone whose um, birthday is up that. Someone could be 35, 5, um, 21 could be significant. Someone could be a Gemini. Someone could be in a Cusper, a Capricorn, Aquarius, okay? Um, someone could be a Capricorn, 1551, okay? Taurus, yeah. Um, 524 as well, 124 significance to someone. Um, but yep, yeah, that is what I have for you. Is pretty much someone is coming towards you in any of those energies that I just called out. Could be Capricorn, Aquarius, could be a Gemini or Taurus. Um, but they're definitely someone who is, um, 
pretty much seeing you as someone who's um, empathetic, someone who's a light worker, someone who's very spiritual and someone who they can grow with, someone who they are inclined to come towards and someone who they feel like they are, you know, tied to someone who they feel like they want to build a foundation with someone who they feel like they can be with for the rest of their life someone who they feel like they don't have to lie to or try to um be deceitful someone who could have been trying to be deceitful with how they come into your life but now they're ready to you know pour themselves out to you and reveal them true reveal their true selves to you okay um so be mindful of that and um yeah this is someone you'll be able to have um the ace of pentacles um with or you already do have that so you'll be able to pour into them um however you feel but i'll see you soon aries thanks for checking in thumbs up the video if it's um resonate with you and subscribe to my channel is what i really was trying to get to next uh thank you all for helping my channel to continue to grow i appreciate your love and light and i ask that you continue to send me yours i'll be seeing you real soon have a blessed prosperous and fulfilled day bye